I'm Larry Walther and this is PrinciplesOfAccounting.com Chapter 18. In this final module we're going to consider the critical assumptions that form a basis for CVP analysis. In the previous two modules we looked at cost volume profit analysis broadly and then specifically for firms with multiple products. It's important for that analysis to be valid that certain assumptions be met. If we violate these assumptions then it will undermine the reliability of our CVP analysis. First of all, we make a big assumption that costs can be separated into fixed and variable components. We also need to assume linearity of those costs, that is, over the entire relevant range of production or expectations, variable cost is constant per unit and fixed cost is constant in the aggregate. A third assumption is that revenues per unit need to be constant. Very simply, if we're doing cost volume profit analysis by looking at the contribution margin, sales minus variable cost, then we need to know that sales are constant per unit and variable cost are constant per unit and we also need to know that the fixed cost pool is an accurate reflection of the cost that will be incurred. If those are violated then our algebra is simply wrong and we'll get erroneous conclusions. Another assumption, multiple product firms need to sell in proportion to what is anticipated. Remember in multiple product firms we defined a unit as a product mix of multiple products. In other words, we used an example of one bird feeder and ten packets of nectar. If we violate that ratio, then the analysis and the break-even point that we calculate will be invalid. Finally, we need to consider a final assumption, and that is that inventory levels are fairly constant. That is, we are selling the number of units that we're producing. To do otherwise would throw our analysis off because some of the fixed cost for a period could become embedded in inventory or pulled out of inventory from a prior period and our profitability performance could be different than anticipated. So all five of these critical assumptions need to be met. To the extent they're not met, then we need to think more deeply about the results of our CVP analysis to determine the validity of our conclusions.